Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry. I am a single mom of four living in Germany and at the same time working at the hospital as a registered nurse. Guys, in today's video, it's a very short video, but before I go further, I want to thank all my subscribers, all the new one and the old one, those that used to share my video, that those that comment, those that watch my video. May the Almighty God bless each and every one of you guys. Amen. Guys, today's video is short and clear. As a single mother, things that you should not do with your children, things that you should not do while you separate him with your child father you know in my video i talk a lot about the women because i'm talking about my own experience so if you are a man you watch my video please do the opposite of it okay so let me go direct to the point and stop to hand so first of all if you are the type of parent you are the type of single mother who like to lie about your ex-husband to your kid stop it stop it stop it it's not good. You are not doing yourself a favor. You are digging your own grave with your hand. It's totally bad. Do not ever lie to your child about his dad. Always say the truth, no matter what. For example, if your ex-husband left you because he catches you with another man on the bed, that's the reason he left you, Tell your child, confess to your child before it's too late. Before your child hear it outside or to his dad. Because even if you keep this child by yourself, one day, one day, this child will have contact with his dad. By then you have no choice. So stop doing it. Do not lie. Do not talk lies about your partner to your child. It's bad. Point number two. Do not discourage your child about his dad. As a single mother, it's totally wrong. No matter how hot you are, whenever, even if the, in, in that, because we know sometimes when you people separated, the first one or two years or months, the child and the father, maybe they are not having that close relationship. So, but whenever the child um, talks about his dad, do not discourage your child about his dad. Do not say, do not discourage him or her about his dad. It's totally wrong. If you are the type of mother, you are the type of single mother that is doing this, my dear, you are digging your own hole with your own hands. Number three. So do not cost your child's father in front of the child or abuse him in front of the child. It's totally wrong. Do not do it, guys. In as much as some of us, we are hurt, but let's learn to respect ourselves and as well as the kids. We are not doing these things because of we want our ex to come back. No, we are not doing this because we want... Um, so that people will, will think that oh, she she still wants her ex. That way she is not doing bad things. No, my dear, doing it for your child. Do it for your child's future. Help your child to grow up in a free-minded home. Okay, it's totally hot. It's totally hot. I understand some of us the way they left us, but still, let's try to be a woman. That's why we are a woman and they are men. And that's why most of us, we the women, we stay home with the kids. Because we have to be patient to grow up our child or our kids to see them as a better, to see them in the, to see them to have a better future. So, now let me analyze all what her, I have said. So, if you are the kind of single mother that does all these things, please stop. If you don't stop, it will come a time when your child is no longer depends on you. Or when your child knows the truth from outsider or from her dad. Guys, that child will no longer love you the way it's supposed to love, the way he or she's supposed to love you. And guess what? He might forgive you because you are his mother or a mother, but he will no longer give you that love. 
is supposed to give you as a child because you have deceived him. You have deceived her all throughout her life with te by telling her lies. By telling her lies about or telling him lies about his dad. So let me tell you something. What to do as a single mother. So that we need people to talk to. It's not only having new boyfriend or what. We need people to talk to in some cases. If you want to talk to your to somebody, those type of talk, if you want even want to abuse your ex, not in front of your child. Instead, call a friend. Talk to your friend. You can abuse your ex into your friend. Your friend. You can abuse him there. You can talk whatever you want to talk. You can even lie. To your friend, lie to people, lie to your parents, but not to your child. Remember, our kids are our future. This kid that we are taking care of today, we are taking care of them. But believe me, when they grow up, they will look for their dad. They will want to know the real story. Even if you have a diary at home, they come and call that diary. All what you have written, they will still not believe you until they have the truth from their dad's mouth. Until they have the proof from their dad's mouth before they will decide who was wrong and who was not wrong. And let me tell you something. Most of these kids that we are giving back in Europe, they don't even want to know if my dad wrongs my mother. All they want to know is they have contact with their dad and they have contact with their mom. So there is no need as a single mother always saying lies, bad words, deceiving your child. You are not deceiving that child. You are deceiving yourself, my dear. Remember, when that child grow up, when that child grow up, it's going to affect you. Let's pray as a single mom, the way we are struggling, the way we are suffering to take care of this child. And at the, at the end of the day, you lose that child because of your lies. You lose your child because of the attitude you wear with his dad. And you are trying to hide the any child. Remember, a child who is five years, the next five years, that child is 10, 15, 16. You cannot longer deceive that child. By then, that child is no longer depend on you. By, by then, that child has his own mini job he or she is doing. So there is nothing you can do to that child anymore. So my dear, this, this goes to all these single mothers. If there is anything, anything that has happened between you and your ex, the reason why you people separated, if you don't want to talk to the child, if your child asks you and you don't want to talk because there are some stages, the kids are so young that you are not supposed to disclose a lot of things to them. It hurt them more. There are some things we need to hide them from the kids until they are like this 14, 15, 16. By then they can bear some other pain. They can bear pain. Please. Do not tell your child. If the child is below five, below eight, do not explain. Even that child wants, Mama, why are you not living together with Papa? Just give him something. Give that child something good to go with. Give that child a positive answer. If you don't want to talk, these kids are so clever here. Tell that child, please, my love. You know I love you, but I don't want to talk about this topic now. Please, I will tell you some other time, but not today. Mm -hmm. Instead of you telling that child the lie, instead of you lying to that child about his dad, it's going to affect you. It will haunt you. And we are struggling for this kid. We are suffering so much. We got a lot of humiliation in, 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 in the social media today. Everywhere on the social media, they talk bad about really single mothers. So it's good if after all this humiliation, at the end of the day, you get a you get a child that loves you, a good child that will take care of you, then you will forget about all the pains is that cost you. You forget about all the humiliation. They humiliate us on, uh, on social media. Please, my beautiful lady, this is just a short advice to each and every one of us. Let them do this mistake. And most of these things that I'm talking to you guys, it's out of experience. I'm not lying to my kids. I've never lied to my kids about their dad. Yes. 
And I will never stop my kids to go close to their dad. Even if I have done it before, and I will never do it again. Please, and if you are just going through the same situation like me, stop it. Put yourself down. And I will make a video what to do, even if the dad will, don't want to see the child. Believe me, that dad has left you. He left you, but he doesn't left his kid behind. He is out of your heart. You, you are out of his heart, but his blood, his kids, his children are inside his heart. He is going to another relationship, but he's not forgetting his children. A man has ego. It's because of those ego, sometimes they are not coming back. And I will make a video, what you should do if the child father don't want to see the child, what are you going to do? If you have watched my video up to now, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. I do really appreciate you, 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 and you. I love you. Till we meet again. Bye. Mwah.